All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we dive into this lesson, giving no honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kha Kadash. God by His great millstone, at our apostle, will teach him well. Peace, salutations to those for elected, elected other nations, Shalom, to the Akim uh, and the Akwathim that's out there. And the Shalom, and the hopeful elected Akim and Akwathim that's out there. And the Shalom to the Zasir. Sincere Akim that's out there making a body, a living sacrifice, but going out there on the highways and byways, but making a body, a living sacrifice. Keep doing so to those that may be proclaiming the truth of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, and the Shalom to the sincere Akwathim that's out there resting, the husbands been a pillar of rest. Keep doing so to those that may be, okay? Yahweh has been Heavenly Father, which the world ignorantly calls God, which his name means he exists, he is the ancient of days. Bahashem meaning the name of Yahweh Shai being on the God the Son of the Heavenly Father, which the world ignorantly called Jesus the Christ, which his name means he's the Savior. Who is he the Savior for? He is the Savior for the children of Israel only. Okay? This lesson is entitled going over this article. WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society. And basically is over this article. Now, this is this is good news right here because they elder apostles on down been prophesying this to come to pass, you know, for years and years and years. Okay, now that they are telling you this, that you gonna need this in the near future to participate in a society. Okay, what's the excuse now for you other camps to say what the mark of the beast is now? Okay, because. Soon, this is going to be made mandatory, okay? All right? This is going to be made mandatory across the four winds of this planet, okay? That's what the hour of temptation is, okay? And this has been prophesied by the elders, the elder apostles on down once again, okay? So, this goes to show you that GMS has 100% of the truth because this right here... It's part of that 100% truth, okay? Because we ain't cutting no corners. We ain't, you know, trying to make things seem good to people's ears. No. We straight to the point, cold hard facts, okay? And this right here proves that the mark of the beast is indeed the see him, okay? Once again, here it is. They tell you in an article that you're going to need this device to be able to participate in everyday, everyday activities, basically. All right, let's read it on it. It says the WEF declared that all citizens must be implanted with a CBC, CBDC microchip in the very near future in order to be able to fully participate in society and do basic things such as purchase food and water. Man, we at the end of this thing, man. And you see, they said in their future, so it's coming soon. They already got it here, but hey, soon it's going to be made mandatory, okay? It's going to be made mandatory, man. And these are exciting times, man, because hey, that's how you know who, who the Lord, who, this how you know that the Lord is faithful, that his words are faithful and true, man, you know? Because is, is it not prophesied that you going to need a, a mark to be able to buy and sell? Yes, it's prophesied, man. Okay? It's prophesied. Okay? Now, continue on. According to Professor Richard Weiner, Warner, it says, In the very near future, citizens will need to use the latest technologies such as the CBDC, CHIP implant in order to in order to access their bank accounts. Professor Richard A. Warner is an economist and professor banking and finance. He is known as the proponent of new post-crisis monetary policy he called quantitative the easing, which he proposed in Japan in 1995. Chief Economic, 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 economist of British Investment Bank. It says he also he has also worked as a researcher 
at the University of Oxford Bank of Japan, the development bank of of in supporting the establishment establishment of non non not for profit community banks. So I can make this turn. Not for profit community banks through an initiative called Local First CIC. Exposed News dot com reports at the Amsterdam Science Summit. 2022 Professor Warner gave a lecture on central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, and 2030 and 2030 agenda at the sidelines of this year Amsterdam Science Summit. He spoke to Ivor Cummins about science uh, uh, about CBDCs, okay, <clears throat> and how high inf- inflation has been orchestrated by central banks to further their agenda. There are two aspects to QE monetary policies that proof Warner proposed QE1 and QE2 and QE1 uh, uh, is for the central bank make this curve right here central bank buys of nine so like the central bank buys up non-performing assets at face value and the problem is solved. Banks have a strong balance sheet, but that won't be enough to get banks to increase credit. So Professor Warner proposed QET, QE2, which allows the central banks to force the banks to create more money to push in into the into the economy this would be accomplished with central banks buying assets a- assets property from non-bank non-bank sectors the money the non uh, the money the non-bank sectors received from the sale of the property would then be deposited into the seller's bank account when economic econ- when an economy is experience deflation that's how central banks can push money into the economy directly pro professor warner explained so if you want to read on in this you know a hey, link will be in the description but you know the first one I tell you okay what did they say the wef declared that all citizens must be implanted with a cbdc microchip in the very near future to be able to fully participate in society to do basic things such as purchase food and water okay there it is right there put it right in your face letting you know that the signs are the times man let's go ahead and get some scriptures okay let's get the book of uh second address chapter nine okay the reason it says he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself Thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Okay, we are measuring the time diligently within itself. Okay, because look what's happening. Okay, they are now they are now putting in your face that this is going to be the new norm that's going to be made mandatory in order for you to participate in society to be able to do what to buy food and water. Okay. So guess what? It, it, this is coming, okay? It is coming, okay? It, 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 it's, it's been prophesied. And here it is. These devils are telling you that this is coming, man. Okay? Verse 2. Then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou under, well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay, for like as all is it, for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is is manifest. Right, the end is being manifest before our very eyes. Okay, because look, here it is. They are telling you, 
that you are going to need this device to be able to participate in everyday activities, okay? To be able to participate in society, to be able to buy food and water, okay? Ain't this not prophesied in Revelation 13 and 16? Yes, it is. So this is how you know we had confirmation of what the mark of the beast is, man, okay? And for you other camps, man, what's your excuse now, man? What is your excuse now? Because here it is. They just said that you don't need this to be able to participate. So what is your excuse now, man? What is your excuse now, man? Because you can't get around it now, man. Okay? Because it says the end is being made manifest. Okay? Now, let's get 2 Edges 15 in verse um, 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right. Did not the Lord put the words of prophecy within the prophet's mouth? Yes. We are, as of right now, this video that I'm doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, this is the Lord's spirit prophesying, okay? All right? And this is going to come to pass, man. Verse 2, and uh, cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right. For these words are faithful and true. Okay. These prophecies are faithful and true, meaning they are going to come to pass regardless, man. Regardless of the matter of fact, what do you other camps be talking about, man? It's going to come to pass. Okay. And if you don't teach the right thing, you will have a lot of blood on your hands, man. Okay. Now, um, that's it on that. Um, let's go to my notes. Let's go ahead and get Ezekiel chapter 33 in verse 33. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33. And the reason it says... <clears throat> I'm going to start at verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Okay. And like, hey, we are piping and piping and piping unto our people of what's to come. Okay. And here it is. The market of beasts is being manifested, is being told to you that it's going to be made mandatory. Okay. So... We sound like a lovely song. We sound like a broken record, I tell y'all. Okay, because y'all don't believe, first and foremost. But guess what? When this do come to pass, then you're going to know that there's a prophet among you. Verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come to pass. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Right. The, the confidence that we have, and then, you know, the confidence that Ezekiel had, Okay, he said, and when this comes to pass, lo, it will come to pass, right? It will come to pass because, hey, this is the Lord's will, okay? That this is this should happen because this is just forwarding our kingdom to be, um, to be, to come faster, okay? And for this devil's destruction to come upon him even quicker, okay? Because this devil don't even, they, they, trying to basically find any loopholes to avoid the MOTB. But at the end of the day, all roads lead to it. And all roads just lead to your, to your devil's destruction. Because you just bring in our kingdom faster. Okay. And you are bringing your kingdom down quicker. Which is good for the Israelites. Because guess what? We wouldn't have, we ain't going to have to deal with your ass for much longer. Okay. All right. That's it on that. Now let's get Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Because after that... After it's made mandatory, man, hey, then come the boom, man. Okay. Second uh Peter chapter three and verse nine. And it says, Yahweh is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slack slackness, but is long suffering to us were not willingly that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right. The Lord literally prophesied of these things happening. Okay? But unto us. You know, we, we, uh, we, we, you know, we are, we are being patient, long suffering. Okay. And for them that don't believe, they kind of slack in the Lord. Like, man, Lord, why are you taking so long to bring this to me? Because you got to understand the Lord is on a different time frame than us. 
Okay, a one day with the Lord is a thousand years, so you can understand time moves differently in the Lord's eyes, man. Okay, time moves differently in the Lord's eyes, so you can't rush the Lord to do something. No, the Lord does it on His will. Okay, and it seems, and, and, and from what it looks like, hey, the Lord is about to bring the end, man. Okay, pretty pretty soon. Okay, we can't put a date on it. We can't tell you it's gonna happen tomorrow. We can't tell you it's gonna happen two hours from now. No. Scriptures say, no man knoweth the hour nor day, only the Father in heaven knows. Okay, Yahweh even said that. Okay? Yahweh said that. All right? Verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth shall also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Right? So, this right here is the indicator letting us know that we are at the end of this devil's kingdom. Okay? Because once this prophecy comes to pass, once it's made mandatory, then comes the destruction. Okay? Because once again, Esau Edom, you bring your end quicker, which is good. Okay? Keep keep going, man. You, know, you ain't getting to 2030. 20, okay? We hope you bring this to pass <laughs> next year or couple months from now okay because they jake ready to get the fuck up out of here excuse my french man okay all right uh let's get revelation chapter 12 verse 12 because hey this devil finna come down with that great wrath man okay this is revelation chapter 12 and verse 12 therefore rejoice ye heavens and that's what brothers are doing we are rejoicing because we are seeing that 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 this devil is bringing about his end man okay we are rejoicing at this, man. Okay? Because the heavens are the Israelites, man. Okay? Verse 15 on. Rejoice ye heavens and ye. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he have a short, uh, but a short time. Right? This devil know that he have but a short time. Okay? So that's why he moving the way he moving. That's why he trying to implement this as fast as he can because he try to have some little leg room because he know you have a shot coming okay this devil knows is that this devil basically try to basically make think he moving fast enough to be able to do what he got to do before you have a shot returns now nah, esau you gotta understand when you bring this to pass and when that destruction come that's your have a shot your have a shot is coming between that too okay you can't get around that, okay? It's, you devil's not going to get that long after you make this mandatory, man. Because once you, because the, the time or the clock, all, the clock is almost all at, at zero for you devils, man. Okay? So it, it's only a matter of time before you make this mandatory. Then the destruction and your have shots return all at the same time, man. Okay? When I say all at the same time, the destruction and your have shots return going to happen at the same time. Okay? You devils think you're going to get a few extra years off or a few 15 years off at the. <laughs> no, we pray and hope it ain't that long after y'all make it mandatory. OK. All right. That's it on that. Let's get Revelation chapter 13 verse uh, 16. Let's read this um, again. The W.E. The W.E.F. has declared that all citizens must imp be implanted with a CBDC microchip in the very near future in, a, in order to be able to fully participate in society and do basic things such as purchase food and water. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. Okay, and it says he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Receive a what? A mark. Okay, what is this CBDC? A mark, okay? The mark of the beast, okay? The C-hip, okay? We read it again. He calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, okay? We read it again. And he calls it all both small and great, Rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay. What is that mark? Is haragma, which means to make an incision. What did what did it say? 
WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your what? Your skin. What does it say? The mark in the right hand. Clear as day. Clear cut and dry. Verse 17, that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What does it say? In order to be able to fully participate in society to do basic things such as purchase food and water. That's buying. Okay. Clear as day. Clear as a cloud in the sky, man. Clear as day. Verse 18, I'm going to reread that. In that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's the wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it's the number of the man and his number is 603 score and 6. Okay. Boom. Clear as day. The water, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Okay. The water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Call her line on line, Yahweh by Shimmy Awashai. Okay? So with that, I pray and hope that this lesson is edifying to those that we watch, giving no honor, no glory, no praise is due to Yahweh by Shimmy Awashai, by Shimmy Kakadash. Till next time, to the next video, Shalom, Kumashirala, by the ball.